Hi, my name is Andrew and I'm a technology expert at the Human Manual. In this tutorial, we'll explore the dock settings. The dock is the row of icons found at the bottom of your screen. The icons are usually shortcuts to your favourite apps, documents, folders and your trash. The dock also comes with its own set of settings and customization tools. To access these, you can either go to the Apple menu, found at the top left of your screen on your menu bar. Now select Dock. Or you can go into the Apple menu and go to System Preferences or click System Preferences found on your dock. Now click on Dock. Let's explore these options together. The first thing you can change is the size of the dock using the slider. Magnification is a cool rollover effect that when you roll over any apps or shortcuts in your dock, they become bigger and highlighted. You can also adjust the size and the emphasis of the magnification by using the slider between minimum and maximum. Next is the preferred positioning of the dock. By default, the dock is situated at the bottom of the screen, but you can also opt to have the dock on the left or the right of the screen. Naturally, you won't be able to apply the dock at the top of the screen because the menu bar is housed there. When you minimize windows, they have the default genie effect. However, you can have another option called Scale. Try them out now and see which one you prefer. You can now see a list of tick box options and we'll go through each and explain their functionality. By default, when you Minimize an application window, it places the window on the right hand side of the dock. However, you can have the window hide behind the app on the left hand side of the dock, and we'll show you what we mean. So, here I have the finder window here open. If I minimize this window, it goes to the right hand side here in my dock. If I tick this tick box to minimize windows into an application icon, what will happen now is if I minimize this finder window, it goes straight into the Finder app. By now you've probably noticed that when you open an application it bounces up and down like a hyperactive eight-year-old child. Well, you can switch this feature off too by unchecking the Animate Open Applications tip box. If you are like me, you only want to see the dock when required, otherwise it's taken up vital screen estate. We'll opt into automatically hide and show the dock will be the option you'd want to switch on. A nice notification of whether an app is running is the white light underneath the app on your dock. You can also switch this feature off. Once you've finished customizing your various options for your dock, simply close the system preferences window and your changes are automatically changed and saved. Have fun exploring and learning more about your Apple Mac computer. We hope by now you're feeling a little bit more familiar and comfortable with your Apple Mac computer and don't forget to watch our other tutorials. Feel free to re-watch this video or download it for offline viewing. Please rate and provide any feedback about this video below or just email us at hello at thehumanmanualonline.com. My name is Andrew and I'm your human manual to your Apple Mac computer. Thanks for watching and bye for now.